Time for another restaurant story. Okay, time to open. The door is unlocked now. Well, it's about time. I've been waiting for you to open for ages. Well, we opened at 11 a.m. and it is currently 10.59 a.m. It's one of those days. I'm here to pick up a to-go order. We pre-ordered it yesterday to be ready now. Okay, sure. It looks like I don't have any record of pre-orders where they're supposed to be. Oh, so you forgot it. Not necessarily, um, but I just clocked in, so let me just get settled, check things out before we jump right to forgetting. Well, it's supposed to be ready at 11 a.m. It's for Lisa. I'm Lisa. Well, let me just go check with the kitchen. Maybe someone gave them the order without communicating it to me. Give me just a second. Okay, but every second I give you is just one more second that the order is late. Hey, chef, did anybody talk to you last night about an order for Lisa to pick up at 11 a.m. today? Uh, nope, nothing I know about. Got no tickets on the line. Hmm, okay, well, I might be about to send in an order on the fly. We got a lady here with a pre-order that we have no record of. Godspeed. Hey, Joey, look alive. We got Nora coming in. And if they want a chicken piccata, you really should have started two days ago. Hey, Lisa, I'm so sorry for that miscommunication. For whatever reason, we don't have that pre-order here, but let me take the order for you right now. The kitchen's ready for you. We will have it out in like 10 minutes. How's that sound? That sounds bad. I wanted it at 11. I hear ya, and again, I'm so sorry we let that happen, but I am here to make it right for you. We'll get it out as close to 11 as we can. What food can I start for ya? Well, I ordered it from some little boy host yesterday. I think his name was Noah or something. He knows it. Well, Noah's not in right now, but I can take care of it for ya. Now, what food was in that order? Well, Noah should have written it down for you and had it there. The fact that he didn't is completely inappropriate. Maybe, but I am here to fix it. Please let me fix it. Well, now I'm gonna have to call my girlfriend and explain to her why lunch is going to be late, so please excuse me. Fair enough, but please can you just tell me what was in the order before you do that so that we can start- Hello, Lisa, this is Lisa. Hey Lisa, Lisa here, are you picking up lunch? Well, I am trying to, but they don't have it ready. What? But you told me you spoke to somebody named Noah. It's supposed to be in. That's what I told them, but Noah didn't do it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do you want me to call the restaurant? Let me call the restaurant. I'll have them fix it. Thank you for calling the restaurant. How may I help you? Hi there, my name is Lisa. There's supposed to be a takeout order ready at 11 a.m. for Lisa. We spoke to Noah yesterday to get it set up, but it sounds like he didn't do it. Yeah, Lisa. Um, Lisa is actually here right now. I'm currently speaking to her. Yeah, Noah doesn't have it ready, Lisa. How unprofessional, right? Okay, I get, uh, I, I get it, okay? Please just tell me what the food is so I can cook it. Lisa, do they know where Noah is? Noah knows it. Noah knows it. But I don't. So do you want this food or not? Noah knows it. Get him out there. Okay, I don't I don't I don't like how we are fixating on Noah. So no, Noah will not be getting out here. Lisa, are you still on? Are they getting Noah? Are they getting Noah? No, Lisa, they're hiding him from us. Okay, for the record, it is now 11 to 15, and if you had just told me what food was in your order, it could have been cooked and completed, probably with a free dessert by now. Well, now I think it's less about wanting the food and more about wanting Noah to answer for his crimes. Excuse me? Yeah, Noah really questioned our honor today, right, Blisa? Yeah, today Noah tried to sully the Blisa name, the Blisa legacy. The Blisa legacy. We think it's only fair that Noah stand before a jury of his peers. Us being the peers. The court of Lisa's. And Lisa's. Who will judge harshly, of course. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Oh, but now our bloodlust has been piqued, and we will not rest until it is satiated. And we demand justice for how we were wronged today. I mean, he should, he should be arrested at the very least, right? Oh, see, I've been wanting to bring back tarring and feathering. Do you think we can do that? Oh, wait, no, I'm having a brain blast. Wait. What if we stone him? Lisa, should we stone him? <gasps> yes, do it. Stone him. Let's totally stone him. Stone him! Stone the witch! Wow, okay, ladies. Surely you understand why I will not be bringing Noah out today. And why I should be calling witness protection, right? 
Ugh. Once again, PC culture ruins everything fun. Now I would like to ask you what the hell you ordered so we can put in your food and you can leave. Or I'd like to ask you to just leave. Ugh, two chicken Caesar salads, please. Great, goodbye. Yo, what's up, just clocked in. Oh my God, Noah, okay, don't go up front. I, I don't know what happened, but there are these ladies that are here to pick up a pre-order that we didn't have. I'm sure it was just a mistake. Don't worry about it. I, I covered for you because they're being insane. Oh yeah, no, Doug, I remember those ladies. They wanted to like pick it up today or something, but I don't know, I threw it away. You threw it away? Yeah, I didn't want to deal with it because I was like tired, you know, but I figured they would come in today. They'd place the order again. Someone would take care of it and hey, look, you took care of it. So, thank you. Hey, Lisa, no one's over here. What? Stone it! Stone the witch! Yeah.